Hey guys, it's Star the Flippin' Hippo, and welcome to Hasty Hippo Hints, where I'm going to teach you tips and tricks of the reselling trade in under five minutes. Let's get to it. So I've had a few requests from a couple of you guys um, to show you how to turn your free returns on. Now, if you're going to turn them on universally across your store, of course, the quickest and fastest way to do it is going to be to bulk edit and go back and do your templates moving forward and change it at the bottom. I'm going to show you both of those. But if you're being selective and say you're only turning your free returns on for your first class items and not your priority items, you're actually going to have to go through your active listings and only select the items that have first class shipping and then bulk edit. That's going to be a little bit more um, intensive and time consuming, but if you don't want free returns on for your priority items because of the cost of shipping, I would say that that's time well spent. So let's go to our seller hub here at the top where your listings are hover, click on active, and we're going to go into our active listings here. So if you were going to universally bulk edit all of your listings to have um, the free returns, you would go up here where it says edit on the top left. You can click that and as you can see here, you can edit 500 at a time. We have over 2,000 listings, so ours is broken up into 500 chunks from 1 to 500 on up. If you were being picky and choosy, like I said, and just choosing items that have the first class shipping on them, you would actually have to go down through and scroll and look and individually click over here on the left each item that you want to change. Again, that's going to take you more time, but it is well worth it if you don't want to be paying free return shipping on your heavier items. I'm going to show you with this just for time's sake. So I'm going to select edit listings one through 500. It's going to pull up 500 listings here for me to bulk edit. Once it's up right here in the top left, you're going to click this box. It will click on down through and select all 500 of these listings for you. You're going to go up here where it says edit fields on the top left and you're going to go down here to your return policy. And right here where it says return shipping will be paid by, you're going to click that. You're going to see a drop down box. You're going to click seller, free returns, and save and close. And it goes through, editing all 500 of those for you. Submit your changes, confirm and submit. Then you're going to have to go back down through your 501 to 1000 and so on and so forth until you've hit all the items in your store, depending on how many you have. So when you're doing a new listing, if you have set up your templates, you can just go into those and edit them, each one individually. You just scroll through, everybody's done a listing, you know what I'm talking about. So down here on the back end, your return options, you click seller free returns and then you just save your template. So you'll want to change all of your templates that you have set up that you want to have the free returns on. Um, if you have them as organized as I do, I have them specific to men's shirts women's shirts, women's pants, women's jeans. So I didn't change my women's jeans template because that's priority. And then if you're someone who just makes a new listing, then you can just check that.